What's up guys, Pork Shopper here and in today's video we're going to have a little discussion about Uncharted 4's new survival mode. It's been out for around a week now and I am level 40 so I've played quite a bit of it. I've even have freestyled the whole of moderate and most of hard mode so I'm definitely enjoying my time. I feel the modes have great replayability, having 10 stages using multiplayer maps and having a proper upgrade system, it gives you a rewarding and challenging mode which you want to get better at each time. The bosses are something I didn't expect to be quite as good as they are, each having a unique way of beating them so you're going to have to change your strategy up. In the later stages we had to actually plan out the battle more and the whole mode is a lot tougher than I first initially thought it would be so it does provide definitely a challenge and I'm a person who loves a challenge. Hard mode is very tricky especially with random so I can't even imagine what crushing is going to be like even if I attempt it. Like I said before I am level 40 so you will probably have gathered that there is a good leveling system. Each level gives you a passive boost to damage and health so the early stages become easier to get those 3 stars in. You can also customise a class using boosters which is a nice add on and making leveling feeling rewarding which multiplayer kind of doesn't really feel like that. You even get a cool symbol next to your name if you beat the mode and you get better ones depending if you freestyle all the stages on harder difficulties. In the game just like multiplayer you gain money to buy upgrades or get gear or mysticals for you to use. There even are special rounds which make you do certain things from killing marked enemies to defending a seed location and a few other ones that all add to the experience. They even have added two maps Prison and Trainic which is a classic for Uncharted 2. Well not a classic map but it's a classic location in Uncharted 2. And funny enough this got me back into playing the multiplayer mode which I haven't touched in ages. It's very meaty mode, you can have a blast with your friends and meaning the multi survival of course. With a rocky start of what some thought was an empty multiplayer experience, this definitely has added a lot onto it. Of course the big question is, has it come too late? For me I think it has, the multiplayer has its own set of problems which the classic mode has sorted out and with the survival mode there's never been a better time to get into Uncharted Force multiplayer but I definitely think 6 months or well, really 7 months down the line it's been, it has just been a teeny bit too long. And even classic mode only started appearing around a month ago now, so they have taken their time to get this mode done right and everything which is awesome but yeah. I. I mean it definitely feels like it has come a teeny bit too late, but it is free so you can't really complain when it's free. Saying that, looking back at the previous Uncharted co-op modes, people have definitely complained it's not up to their standard. For example, Uncharted 3's co-op mode was more of a story adventure rather than a round based mode. I just think people don't realise how much effort goes into those, adding all the cutscenes, especially the quality of what Uncharted 4 delivered. I believe Uncharted 4 single player mode really was draining for the team, they had to put a lot of effort and resources into it so multiplayer had to take a hit with its content. I'm glad however they are giving us all the content for free, it may have been down the line but it was totally worth it The wait in my opinion. Just unfortunately with all the Uncharted 4 delay problems and the change of staff with Amy Hennig leaving, I definitely think this was a main problem, it was a game that wasn't pushed and the, let's be real here, Uncharted 4 single player was insanely ambitious and it is a meaty, multi, um, a meaty single player even. I mean I can put easily over 20 hours into that single player and all of it is of great quality. So I mean it definitely shows that the multiplayer did take a hit there. But anyway, the question was, is Uncharted 4 survival mode any good? And yep, very much so. It has good replayability with a challenge and its own leveling system away from the multiplayer itself. It's a mode which I'm definitely going to jump in and hopefully gain a lot more from new friends which I already have and play and have a great time with it. Like I said before, it may have come a bit too late and this is probably only the big Uncharted 4 multiplayer drop we're getting except for maps. And I believe now down the content road we're only getting a few, a few more maps, mostly customization stuff. So, I mean it's a bit disappointing on that half but we do have the Uncharted um, Lost Legacy DLC slash game hybrid coming out probably in the middle of next year so that's having something to look forward to to more of the single player fans but yeah I think after the last of us and tried for multiplayer wasn't up to the standards we expected it was good it's definitely enjoyable I have a blast a bit especially on classic mode but it definitely doesn't carry out to the expectations. Now looking forward to The Last of Us 2, I hope they definitely take their time more in that multiplayer. I love The Last of Us as multiplayer, especially at launch, I think it was one of my favourite of all time. 
it's just a thought to with them adding a load of DLC in and making shotguns a teeny bit too, you know, annoying. It, it definitely lost its very tactical approach. It's the reason I loved it. You know, if you ran around, you were on the radar, and that's the reason I did love it. So hopefully, um, The Last of Us definitely, The Last of Us Part 2 hopefully corrects this error. Uncharted 4 made. But anyway, guys, I thank you very much for watching this quick little, you know, snippet of what I thought of Uncharted for survival. Um, I may have some more gameplay up in the near future looking at the hard mode or some tips and tricks, but I think everyone's got the gist of it now. I've done this video pretty late into the cycle. I mean, those people have already done it already. So I think I'm just going to leave it here. I just wanted to touch my opinions on it. And I'll see you guys, well, next time. Have a good one.